It's time for Eric Plays the Baconing, episode 10. Hey guys, just waiting for the baconing to load up here. Once it does, we're gonna bacon. Um, looks like uh, last time I played, I killed 100 cyborgs, which got me the Blade Ruiner um, achievement. So that's pretty interesting. And last time I was in some kind of <coughs> bootleg uh, Disney World or Disneyland. Uh, so we'll see what where that takes us with the uh, nuclear family, uh, which I think might also be somewhat making fun of tomorrow and stuff that just Disney itself. Well, how about new game? I'm not getting anything out of my headphones. Interesting. All right, got that sound working. Let's do some bacon. In. Right. <coughs> so weapons vendor. All right, bunch of junk for me. Scary looking mother. <coughs> Over in the kitchen tomorrow. The food museum of tomorrow. Greetings, homemaker! <laughs> Death Spank, thank the gods you've come! You've heard of me? That's good! <laughs> Usually I have to do a whole spiel. My entire family is missing! You must find them before my roast is overcooked! The tragedy of this situation is moving. But tell me, nearby is there access to bacon fire? Oh, I don't know about things like that. I just concentrate on the cooking and cleaning, like this lovely pot roast I'm making. I salivate with anticipation. I'll open the door to the park so you can find them. It's so like my family to disappear like this. It makes me so mad. Interesting. Now, who exactly is missing? Well, my husband, Dick, of course. My clever little boy, Elroy. And our lovely daughter, Chastity. Oh, there we go. Uh, sorry, I had to take that phone call. Uh, if I hadn't been on the phone, I would have said, hmm, the fact that our daughter's name is Chastity in a game like this that's very Monty Python-esque and, you know, broad humor, I'm going to bet that the girl is, uh, let's say, the opposite of her name. Uh, <clears throat> the rest, I'm not sure. Let's see what happens. Which way did your husband go? Dick's usually up north working on his robotics projects. He dreams of curing the ills of society through full body sensual massage. What? He sounds like a true provider. That's pretty he funny. He always thinks of the family first. Her eyes are crazy. Tell me of this boy child. I'm so proud of my little boy. <laughs> He's always exploring new worlds, discovering forgotten technology, tinkering with ancient super weapons. What? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, kids. Where is your quote unquote lovely daughter? Well, chastity, I fear, is of a certain age. You know, when a girl's thoughts turn to... Jousting? Romance. <laughs> Jousting's better. In yeah. fact, I get the impression that Chastity has met a boy. Or at least, constructed one. Mm. Her laboratory is in the valley to the west. What exactly just happened with your little freak out there? With the exploding and kablammo! Oh gosh, how embarrassing! It's a family trait, I'm afraid. Mm. Whenever we get angry, an exothermic reaction occurs. Neat! 
Farewell, repressed woman. <laughs> Farewell, hero. So this um, kitchen and the nuclear bomb stove and the way she's dressed and all this stuff definitely does seem to be making fun of like 1960s-ish Disney type things. Yeah, America in general. The tree of Tomorrow. Oh, the Tree of Tomorrow is a dangerous tree. I forgot how to block. There we go. Uh, I need to hide behind the wall of tomorrow. I need some mushrooms of tomorrow. Alright, here we go. A is a bow and arrow. Time to hide and heal again. Uh oh, Cyborg Medic is coming to me. Let's hit it. Ah, you worked yourself into the wrong area, medic. Ooh, got the cannon of tomorrow. Nice. Can't wield it just yet. <coughs> and looks like not for some time. Still have quite a bit to go before I get past level 7. Oh boy. It'd be embarrassing if I died. for this, I'm gonna guess, hand of tomorrow? <coughs> I can get rid of the Helm of the Hero. And the Helm of the Technocrat. And even the Automaton Head. Alright, got Help from Heaven. Oh, before I had Heck from Heaven. And gloves of Tomorrow. Another 
medic over there. One barrel over here. Oh boy, this is not good. Oh boy, I'm in trouble. <coughs> Kinda cool. The head of tomorrow. Nice. It's got a mustache. Another freaking tree. Oh, darn it. oh boy. <clears throat> oh my god, he's got a freaking flamethrower. I'm on fire. Your dog. <coughs> I'm a. Oh, hi. What a surprise seeing you here. It's uh, very. Well, not nice, obviously. What if this is from a different Death game? Bank, the man who destroyed my marriage. That's must be from another game. Name. Where is your aromatic husband, Strunken? Don't talk to me about Strunken. He ran away, leaving me to fend for myself! If you don't mind my saying so, you seem pretty fendable. All I have to keep me company is my two-headed dog, Leon. What's the other head called? I, uh, I don't know. I'll bet it's something funny, like Rufus. <coughs> Deathbank, a delicate flower like me can't survive alone in this wilderness. I need a man, a big, strong man. Like you. <laughs> I'll just go find your husband. 
Go see Dick. Just hold it in a little bit and I can kill it in one shot. Oh boy. Disappeared. Yesterday, it's 
the hero. Heroic gloves of the hero. Chest of the hero. Need like a bigger backpack. Okay. Ooh. Nope. I thought I had to need a gun. The bottom is sting of justice. Are you still alive? to take you through. Almost there. <coughs> Dang it. You interrupted my healing. Oh boy. That was not good for me. Save me, gods and or goddesses. Yesterday. today. I like that. Yesterday. today. Ah, he can still shoot me. God, these gummy bears. Holy moly. I died. Man, those gummy bears kicked the crap out of me. Ah, I was right next to another outhouse, too. Darn. game makes it more fun more lived in hey teddy bear of tomorrow Come bear of tomorrow I right. guess this is a justice capable item or some others aren't clone female 102. I'll wager you don't own a lot of mirrors. Whoa. Yarp. Scary. Greetings, gentle quadruped. <coughs> Yarp. Uh. Pleasure Torium, huh? Interesting. Not sure his wife knows about this. A brothel entrance. Why, it's Icken Badger! What a lovely surprise! Deathspank? Deathspank? And I see you found new gainful employment. Yeah, this must be from the uh, other we game. had to. Someone killed Lord Von Prong. No! The technical term is regicide. Uh. Learning is fun. We work for Dick Nuclear now. He improved us, he did. We're improved. Mind standing aside for your old buddy, Deathspank? Maybe letting your old buddy, Deathspank, in on the sly. Can't do that, mate. No. This room is for very important people only. But I'm the very definition of important. <coughs> I saved our world from the threat of the Thong Lords. Sorry, Deathspank, we need written proof of your importantness. You must be very <coughs> important or better. I've just realized this is basically... This machine appears to be out of stock. A combination of... Um... Diablo... Or Torchlight and a uh, point-and-click adventure game with the silly puzzles. Oh, 
I do not bear proof of my importantness. Then we have to assume that your average, only the very important can enter that room. It's more a lounge, really. A very important lounge. Mm. Greetings, profitable <laughs> mistress. <laughs> Deathspank, don't tell me you've forgotten me. All right, I won't. No matter. It's good to see you again. I've left my father's laboratory and taken a position here with a nuclear family. But I could use your help. Something heroic like slaying a dragon? Please say it's slaying a dragon. <laughs> Most requests I get are so dull. Oh, it's heroic, all right. Lay it on me. Defending <coughs> machines need a restocking of addictables. <laughs> you know I have a bunch of swords, right? <laughs> I could reward you with a VIP pass to Dick Nuclear's champagne room. Adventuring does get pretty lonely. <coughs> the plants I need are outside. They're <coughs> called Tobaki. By your command. That's funny. So basically, um, gotta get into the champagne room. That's funny. You must be so good at picking fruit. Sharp. Huh. Wait, me check, huh? What if it's in here? Oh, can't get in there, at least not yet. Oh my god. Oh no, these freaking bears. God darn it. Bears of tomorrow. Yeah, knock me out. I mean, knock me uh, silly. Still have two points against him, but there you go. You don't think club blows. What if they go back to that farm where that lady was? Hmm. Let's see. Farm. Oh no, I gotta go to the right to the farm tomorrow. I mean, till that is. Bears. Oh crap, 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 They have like bear traps on their feet. There we go. Alright. 
What are these? Should get a cyberpunk. Oh, resist ice, resist nature. Head of yesterday. Kind of scary. My cash from before. Oh boy. Overgrown tobacco plants. Oh boy. Plus this pollinator of tomorrow. Oh my god. Got him. Oh my god. Oh, that hurt me too. Crazy giant bear back there. Got some tobacco. One of twenty. Oh my gosh, so many of these get. Oh, I wonder if those guys are gonna come out towards me. Chain sword of greater chains. Interesting. Did I switch to that? Change sort of chains. Change sort of greater chains. I'm not level nine yet. Okay. Does someone wash your hands? Okay. What are you doing up here?
So it must be somewhere. There's the last one. Now I have to go take this all these pants to somebody. <coughs> uh oh. Oh no, evil gummy bears. Yikes! Alright. Boom! Alright, let's see. So now am I using the chain sort of chains? I want to use the chain sort of greater chains. This one I can get rid of. There we go. Alright, cool. So we get rid of that. Whoa, that looks funny. I don't know. It's weird. What's that? Yeah. Fire sword? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, let's see. That one's. Oh, I'll get rid of this one now. Uh, let's see. I want. I don't need that one anymore. I guess I can put this one here. Put this one up here. There we go. Yep, I have to fight them later. Greetings again, Lucy Eisenbein. Here is the tobacco as requested, Pimpet. <laughs> then enjoy your VIP pass, oh, but not too much. <laughs> no deal. Alright, I have a feeling this is about to get a bit. Whoa, she's pushing me. There you go. Oh, she's gonna put stuff in the, uh, in the machine over there. Greetings again! Tell me of this champagne room. The champagne room is our <coughs> exclusive pleasure palace, where any fantasy, no matter how bizarre, is lovingly created by precision yeah. machinery. Um, any chance I can get in there? Only if you have... Right. Goodbye, mistress. So anyway, I expect this part's not going to be as uh, kid-friendly, so this has been Eric playing The Baconing. I'll see you next time.